Hello once again everyone, Original Blood Ice back again, and this time we're talking about Kojima from Konami. Kojima is expected to leave Konami after Metal Gear Solid 5, an inside source confirms. Key developers could leave before 2016, senior staff become, uh, will become contractors, and communications block in effect. So, first of all, could this be the end of the Metal Gear Solid franchise? And apparently, before we get into this uh, too deep, there was a point where Kojima wanted to include content in Metal Gear Solid 5, but Konami did not want him to. They wanted him, like, I don't know if it was for, they wanted to charge his DLC or something, and they threatened to either, like, terminate him or punish him in some way. I forget what it was exactly. Um, but either way, could this be why? But anyway, let's get into it. Uh, a fallout between Kojima Productions and its publisher, Konami, has led to senior staff at the studio given restricted access to corporate, er, to corporate internet, emails, and phone calls, uh, GameSpot understands. Along with the restricted communications, key developers at the studio, such as Hideo Kojima, will now have limited opportunities to lend their appearance to promotions of the studio's upcoming game, Metal Gear Solid V, The Fans in Pain. Power struggles between Kojima Productions productions, bleh, and Konami have convinced the publishers to make drastic changes, including amending the employee status of its Metal Gear Solid team. Some senior staff at the studio, including Kojima, now essentially work as contractors, not permanent employees, meaning they can bring them in if they want, but they're no longer an officially hired employee. So, um, the extraordinary measures were re er, revealed by a source with Konami, or within Konami, speaking to GameSpot, on the condition of, uh, fuck that word, omni- <laughs> that's gonna be a tongue twister to say, on a, you know what, fuck it, I'm not gonna say that word, you know what it is. The person explained that once the Phantom Pain projected its, er, pro bleh, project is finished, in all likelihood, the management at the studio will disband, meaning, uh, Kojima Productions. After we finish Metal Gear Solid V, Mr. Kojima and upper management will leave Konami. They said their contract ends in December. Uh, the person added, at a team meeting, Mr. Kojima explained that team, uh, that team have to be one and make a good game for fans. Uh, so Kojima, now 51 years old, joined Konami in 1986. His departure from the company will bring an end to nearly three decades of service. Um, in other developments, Konami has begun erasing the Kojima Productions logo from all official Metal Gear art, and it has demoted Kojima off its executive team. Meanwhile, Kojima Productions branding has also been removed from Twitter, the official Metal Gear website, and even the LA office listing. Uh, representatives for Konami would not discuss specifics of the matter when contacted by GameSpot. The corporation has offered a statement, however. It reads, Konami Digital Entertainment, including Mr. Kojima, will continue to develop and support Metal Gear products. Please look forward to future announcements. So, what that says to me is, again, they're contractors. They will maybe, if they feel like it, bring him in to give his advice. But he will not be an actual employee working on Metal Gear Solid games, having complete control anymore. Um... A lot of people are saying, well, there goes Metal Gear Solid End, as well as the Silent Hill games, I guess he did. Um, anyway, the corporation's central public relations team based in Tokyo is unavailable at the time of going to press due to it being past midnight local time. Metal Gear Solid V, Kojima's latest iteration of the famed series, ships in September on PS4, PS3, 360, Xbox One, and PC. Now, granted, let me just say again, I've never personally been a fan of the Metal Gear Solid games. It just not, haven't been for me. They don't click for me, but I know that they are uh, loved by a lot of people. But anyway, an expected statement from Kojima follows, or an expanded statement from Konami follows, as we have already announced, we are shifting our production structure to a headquarters controlled system in order to establish a steadfast operating base capable of responding to the rapid market changes that surround our digital entertainment business. I wonder if that means they're going to be on smartphones. You know, Metal Gear Solid on smartphones, that's the future. Um... Konami Digital Entertainment, including Mr. Kojima, will continue to develop blah 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 blah. Please look forward. Uh, but like I said, if he's not literally an actual employee after these three decades, then he... Or was it decades? Uh, yeah, three decades. Then, and he's become a contractor, much like Kojima Productions. I don't know what that's going to say about the future uh, Metal Gear Solid games, to be honest. Either they 
could potentially be better, but I doubt it since he's always been the guy. Now, I know some people didn't like Metal Gear Solid 4, um, but at the same time, if you take out a key player, that's like taking out Miyamoto from Zelda. Even though he's never you know, fully in effect anymore, he still is in charge. That's like taking out Anuma uh, from the Zelda games these days and just putting in you know, random other guys. So, I don't know. Who knows? We'll see how this goes. But for me, I don't really get the Metal Gear Solid games anyway. It doesn't really mean much for me. But for the fans of the franchise, most people are expecting this to have a negative effect on the franchise, as well as the Silent Hill franchise. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I'm Original Blood Ace. As always, stay tuned. More videos coming soon, and we'll see you then.